Here I am, over it. This upload talking about worthless piece of shit YouTubers like Gerard the Completionist is not fun. It was unreleased audio from a, a longer version. And I want to tell you that another thing that's not fun is constantly having to tell people that I'm not wrong. When you know you're right about something, people coming to you and telling you that you're wrong is quite annoying. It's like a mechanic that's working on a car and somebody that's not a fucking mechanic goes to you and tells you, ah, that belt looks fine. No, 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 it, it's warped. You see the threads coming out of that belt. Ah, that belt's going to last for another 10 years. It's fine. You're just a scammer, you mechanic, trying to get my money. You know, two, three hundred dollars to replace that belt. It's fine. It'll be okay. I know my car better than you do. And then halfway down the road, belt fucking snaps. He hits a mailbox, does lots of damage to his car. It's not fun when somebody that don't that doesn't know what they're talking about tells you that you're wrong. People call me in the comment section here. Well, let's go into the comments here. I know one person actually called me a prophet. I could, you know, prophesize the future. But we're going to do like a little scroll here. And we're going to look at the pin comment on this upload. Now this this might have been a little bit wrong of me to do. This was from three weeks ago. I pinned this comment from programmer HH something. You are completely wrong about this guy. I pinned that because, like I said, it annoys me. It annoys the mechanic when a non-mechanic tells me that I'm wrong about somebody. I'm an incredibly good judge of character. It's not that I say I've not been slightly wrong in the past about some things. I mean, I'm not a god. I'm a human being. But 99% of the time, I'm right about people. I'm a great judge of character. On top of that, I have a high-level intuition. I'm not, I'm not psychic, but I have a high-level intuition. You can find somebody that's an amazing judge of character that has a normally abnormally high intuition level and that tells you that when it comes to seeing things like YouTubers and YouTube uploads, all I got to do is sit down, look at somebody. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to reveal all the secrets because then there'd be lots and lots of radical ricks running around here. You know, then I wouldn't be special. But I was right about Gerard the Completionist. And this person right here, I pinned their comment because I just kind of want people. I just want people to see this comment first. And I don't know if like I should unpin it <laughs> because this is getting like a lot of replies. My thinking is that they'll probably just maybe delete their own comment out of shame. It's an unfortunate comment, isn't it? I mean, by a couple weeks, couple weeks, if you would have left this years back, then at least you would have had a couple years. Now, this, uh, this uploaded actually one year ago. So people are saying I could see one year into the future. No, it was like three years ago. And when I started even covering Gerard and you know, basically calling him a worthless piece of shit, I think it might have been four years ago. But, you know, you can debate how ahead of the curve I was on Gerard, but the fact of the matter is I was ahead of the curve. All right, so we're going to look at these comments, and we're going to wrap up this upload in a neat little bow. This is one of my warm-up uploads. You know, I wake up right before breakfast. I'm half asleep. This is one of my warm-up uploads for what might be a busy day here, at least on YouTube, because I made myself some free time. Now, in my response, it was just out of curiosity. I said, how so? Is he better these days versus the past? And then it's not documented here. Even though I knew he was still a worthless piece of shit, in all likelihood, unless there was some kind of divine intervention or whatnot, I, I was curious on what this person would say. 
because when it came to the the actual incidents I specified, they had nothing to say. So essentially it comes down to, well, you're wrong. You're wrong about the person. And I say, what am I wrong about? They say nothing. They just probably don't like it. Fans of these particular YouTubers, they don't like it when their favorite people are criticized. I guess I get it. You know, you follow these people, you subscribe to them, you think you know them. But again, like I said, you don't more you don't know more about the car than a mechanic like myself does. I'm a people mechanic. I know people really well. Not just in real life, but when I check out these people on YouTube and I'm able to look at their uploads, you know, just like a mechanic can't describe to somebody the process it takes to take apart an engine, to rebuild it, to take apart a transmission, to rebuild it, people won't understand it unless you're that kind of a person that is a high-level people reader like myself. Uh, laugh out loud is the first the first response. There's a lot of glare here in my room, so bear with me here. It's hard for me to actually see the scroll button. There we go. He committed fraud for several years. Okay. Turns out you were more on the money than expected. He allegedly committed charity fraud. This may not have not aged well. He definitely stole that charity money. He got caught still lying where his charity money is going. And they specified Gerard. Like, okay, it's not the commenter. It's not me. It wasn't us. I like that at the end of that. They specified Gerard. He just got called out for being a scammer. I'm pretty sure Radical Rick is right about him. Yo! This comment didn't age well. Ha ha. That didn't age so well. Yeah. Damn, this is low even for him. See, that's the first time I heard about it. First time. Even more. Laughing my ass off. Oh, man, does it hurt to see your word shit on you? Well, well, well. You know you fucked up when Moist Critical just dropped a video on you. Is that Penguin? Is that the same person? The guy always wears the same white dirty shirt and the long black hair. I mean, one thing about him is I've seen his uploads and, you know, they're, they're all right. I just, uh, I just don't know if, you know, he's completely clean. Like, he seems like the kind of person that might not be clean. Oh, there goes my people reading. I don't know. I've never been around Moist Critical. I, I You know, I'm not going to say anything about, like, the white shirt. I'm sure it's perfectly clean. But, you know, it can change up the wardrobe a little bit. It just seems like he always wears, wears that one white shirt. Maybe it's his lucky shirt. I got lucky shirts. I wash them, though. Are they luckier or unlucky when you when you don't wash them? I don't know the rule of lucky shirts. Sorry, I'll quit talking about lucky shirts. But I know you're talking about that one. Uh, moist. Ha ha. You can delete that now. Oof! And there are some more comments. This needs to go viral and some others. I'm not used to... I'm not used to having a lot of love on one of my uploads past a certain point on YouTubers. Because what would happen was I would have my my small gathering following. I'm not even going to say fan base because I, I don't want fans, you know. I, I don't want fans here. I'm just a guy that talks about stuff. So it's kind of weird. makes me feel kind of weird. People say, like, you're fans. Nah. Followers. Nah. Just some people that I like to talk with and everything. The regulars, I will say. The regulars that come here. I usually upload something about Gerard, and the regulars would come by. They would come by, give me a lot of love, give me some likes and all that. And then I would get a flood of people that were fans of the completionists. And this, this same thing would happen over and over and over again, where I was right on YouTubers, right on the fucking money. And my audience knew I was right on the money. But then the audience of these people would come by and they would make up anything that they could trying to disprove me and tell me that I was wrong. And then they would point to the fact that these other people 
these these other high level exposers, I suppose, like you would say maybe a um who would it be? Just the bigger channels, I guess. Because when it comes to exposing YouTubers on YouTube, I would honestly think I might be wrong. I don't think there was anyone that did it better than I did years back. But the irony is people would come by and say, we're just a small shadow. You're such a little teeny, tiny, tiny, puny shadow. You're just a troll. You're jealous. All this kind of stuff. All this kind of stuff. Look at your little subscriber. Blah, 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 blah. I would hear that over and over and over again. And that's one of the things that got tiring. The idea, the wrong idea that YouTubers are right or wrong based on their followings. They're right or wrong based on their amount of likes to dislikes. It still goes on today. Still goes on today. It's a big misconception about YouTube. Some of the best uploads you'll find on YouTube. Some of the people the most spot on have small followings on YouTube. And it turns out some of the scammers, some of the people that are manipulating YouTube's algorithms for all the clickbait, it, a lot of it links in together. The clickbait used to get you to their upload. Once you get to their upload, they start to tell you that... <sighs> They're sad about YouTube. Wow, they're sad. They need more followers. They need more views. You are not subscribed to their channel. Why are you not subscribed to me? Mm, I'm gonna cry about it. Just so happens that all these YouTubers, not all, I mean, not all of them. I mean, there's some good YouTubers with some great big followings out there that are legitimate and just, you know, pretty honest, good people. So don't get it twisted. There are a lot of good ones out there. Like if somebody came to me and said, hey, Scott the Waz is committing charity fraud, my jaw would drop him like, the fuck? Not Scott the No, no, you, you must be wrong. There's nothing going on right there. Has to be. Like that would be something that legitimately shocked me. You know, or the guy from GameSack, uh, Jeff, I think his name is. So I told me that he was committing charity fraud. I'm like, no, 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 no. You are in the wrong, my friend. You're in the wrong. I'll tell you right now. But it just so happens that some of the people that upload things like Gerard did in the past, you know, these personal uploads telling you that they have a staff of people and they just hate having to take donations, but... You know, I got all these people I got to pay and, you know, just so happens all these people, all these people that do those kind of things are trying to manipulate you. And for years, I documented all the manipulation, but because it wasn't something like charity fraud that hell, even bigger YouTubers like Carl Jobst and Muda will talk about. It seemed like it got the seal of approval. When it's people like them, you know, this radical Rick guy, okay, he was ahead of the curve. He must be right because Mood is talking about it. It's not how it goes, man. If you're right, you're right. Doesn't matter who you are. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Same difference. So I also want to add that here that I'm not just right because now all the YouTubers are talking about it. No, I was right. And I will continue to be right in the future. Ba 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 